All right, welcome everybody. This is Katrina Sawa with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I wanted to introduce you to my friend and client, Aaron Sum, confidence hey. coach. Erin uh, is an amazing confidence coach. She helps you with your mindset around what's blocking you and stopping you from taking charge and being more bold in your life. She works with women primarily, but I know men need this too, guys. I know. And uh, she's local to this area somewhat. We're both in Northern California. And uh, she's just, she's got a retreat going on. She does these vision board workshops and visioning workshops as well as her bold retreat. So Erin, tell them a little bit more about how you got started with confidence coaching and, and what you really like to focus on with people. Yeah. Well, so I used to actually really be very, very shy, but um, 11 years ago, I joined a network marketing company to purposely put myself out there, get outside my comfort zone and grow my confidence. And uh, so personally, I've been working on my own, you know, self-worth and confidence and putting myself out there and speaking up for uh, over a decade now. And I, a few years ago, I thought, you know, I absolutely love coaching and I want to help other women do that too, feel more powerful and empowered and feel really good about themselves, love, them, love, them, love themselves more and be able to have more of what they want in their life. And I just, I absolutely love empowering women to um, feel really good. I, I love watching them thrive when, and, and have those aha moments, you know, it's like when they, they recognize what's been getting in their way and then they can break through that and, and shift their energy and, and shift wow. their belief. Yeah, and then I know sometimes you focus it specifically in order to do their marketing. One of the things that I realized with being a business coach for 17 years now is that, you know, a lot of times people don't do what I tell them to do. Well, just do this, this, and this, new get clients. And a lot of times they don't do that. Yeah. And it took me a while in my coaching to realize, oh, they're not doing it because they don't believe in themselves, they don't feel worthy, they don't feel valued or sometimes they have toxic people in their life but you know now it's important to make sure that if they're not going to do what what I tell them to do <laughs> uh, then we get them some help around their mindset because it's huge it'll make or break your success in business yeah exactly and I, I say that too if you know we can learn all there is to know about the marketing the sales the social media, how to do all that stuff. And until you truly believe that you can have those things and that you deserve it and you're worthy of, of everything that you want and you're able to be bold and put yourself out there and really believe in yourself, then you're not going to do those things or um, you know, believe in yourself enough to, to get to where you want to go. I know you talk about being bold and some people will equate being bold as being pushy or salesy. And mm -hmm. I don't see that. Uh, that is not what we mean by being bold, people. So mm -hmm. be careful um, saying, oh, I don't need to be bold, or I don't want to reach that many people. You still need to assert yourself in certain situations, right? Mm -hmm. What do you, I mean, because people need to meet people, like the fastest path to cash is meeting people out in person or mm -hmm. at a speaking gig or even just a live event. You go networking somewhere. And how do you approach people? Um, you know, what are some tips that you might give in that situation? Yeah, well, like you said, being bold means something different to everyone. So for me, 10 years ago, being bold was walking into a room and talking to someone, you know, striking up a yeah. conversation. Yeah. Um, and, and it might be just having a tough conversation with a partner, or it might be asking for, you know, applying for a paid speaking gig. It's it's different for everyone. It doesn't mean, like you said, being pushy or salesy or like forcing yourself on someone. It just means being more confident and being more bold in what you're doing, getting outside your comfort zone. Um, so what was your question? <laughs> <laughs> How do we get more bold, right? And I think of it as being more assertive, meaning, like you said, being bold is walking up and talking to someone that you wouldn't normally do, being assert asserting yourself into conversations Asserting yourself, meaning asking for them to take a next step with you or come to an initial consult with you to find out more. Yeah. Or something like that. So you have to be assertive in your business, and which is more bold is what we're saying. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's believing in yourself, too, being bold enough to dream bigger, too. I, mean, I have a lot of clients that come to me, and they have their dream that's this big where they really want this 
much. You know, they really have this big dream, but they shrink it because they don't believe in themselves. So being bold enough to say, I really do want this thing and I'm going to go after it. Right. right. Like, well, those things. being bold or confident with your rates and your pricing too many people I meet in the beginning of their business or think, Oh, I'm a beginner. I'm just going to charge $50 an hour. And I'm like, well, nobody's going to hire you at $50 an hour. Cause we don't think you know what you're doing. Because right. you're not priced right, right? You're mm -hmm. undervaluing yourself and you're not looking like an expert. Right. So pricing right. is a big thing I'm sure you come in contact with, right? Yes. And when you've helped me a lot with that too, as my coach, you know, the first thing we did within five minutes of hiring you, you're like, double your rates. <laughs> we raise your rates. <laughs> I do that often, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you do. And um, so, you know, you've really helped me with that over the last couple of years that we've been working together. But um, yeah, be more bold and ask me for what you want and in your business, in your life, in your relationships, any, anything. So you do a retreat once a year, uh, the bold, what's it called? Bold Powerfully You Unleashed Retreat. Thank you. Yeah. Bold Powerfully You. Powerful you. It's a mouthful. I know, it's a mouthful. <laughs> it is coming up. So if you're watching this later on, you just have to go to her website and check out when the next one is. Uh, and then there's visioning workshops. And what's your website? It's erinsum.com. S-U-M-M.com. Mm -hmm. Yep. All that stuff's on there. And the visioning workshop isn't on there now because it's not until January, but retreats on there I've got my confident women community on Facebook which is free you can join and come and come and check me out you know get lots of tips and inspiration and support in there yeah and then you also do some fun challenges because I know being on video like we are today mm -hmm. does not come natural for a lot of people and uh, right it can be very very scary for a lot of people it's mm -hmm. so important to do video these days you guys you have to get comfortable doing more video Yes. And so you do challenges, which are very affordable mm -hmm. and it gets people started and, you know, <laughs> and yeah. what to say and how to get out there. All right. And the difference in a lot, there's a lot of people doing video challenges these days. And the difference in mine is that I'm more focused on getting you confident being on video versus like, you know, how to do the technical pieces of it. Yeah. It's like how to be more confident being you on video. Yeah. And I'll tell you the technical and what to say. Yeah, exactly. so she's going to get you over your fears about it <laughs> and I'll tell you exactly what to say so that it actually helps being more confident uh, when you know what you need to say too. So yeah. very cool. Yeah. And you know, you've been my coach for almost two years now and gosh, you've really helped me so much with finding the missing pieces and um, knowing what to say and you know, the, the financial piece, like I was saying earlier, you know, you helped me raise my rates and come up with new programs and you've been such a huge help for me. So I really appreciate all that you've done for me in the last couple of years as my coach. You're welcome. Yeah. And that sales conversation, right? It's not an easy thing, whether, I mean, whether it's for you or for me, it's still not easy. I mean, this many years into my business. So mm -hmm. I know that's one of the things that we often talk about is how to navigate through a conversation with a potential client, right? Yeah. And I know you work with people on that as well because it's, it takes courage, but it also takes the finessing of that sales wording. So you're not salesy, mm -hmm. you're not pushy, but you're assertive. <laughs> right. Right. And sometimes that can feel really bold, right? You have to build that muscle when you're having yeah. those conversations. It's not, it's not easy. You know, yeah. it's, it's not a natural thing for us as Especially no, I had to learn it too. I didn't just come out of the womb all like, <laughs> right? like my mom sometimes jokes because she's like, I have no idea where you got this from because she is so the opposite of a salesperson ever. Like she, she, and she did, it's funny is she did a couple network marketing businesses and I'm like, what are you doing in network marketing? You don't even like to talk to people. Like, why would you do that? She's like, I don't know. It just sounded like something I should do. Well, you have to now go sell your thing. Well, I don't want to. Okay, well, then you don't really have a network marketing business because you're not selling. Right? <laughs> right. Well, and that's how I was when I started my network marketing business 11 years ago. It's like, I don't, I'm so shy. I don't want to talk in front of people, you know. I remember. Especially on the topic you were teaching and selling. Right. Yeah, I was doing passion parties. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> just rip the band-aid off. <laughs> right. That's how it was exactly. Ugh, I guess I got to do this. And I did really well. <laughs> but because I kept putting myself out there, kept growing my comfort zone, kept stepping out, you know, and getting, getting past the fear, doing it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us, I know you're having an event. You have lots of events throughout the year too, but you're having, your next one is in LA, right? In November? Right. Usually they're up in Northern California here in the Sacramento area. And I'm uh, venturing out to LA this time uh, based on some feedback I've received. And uh, we'll see. It's, it's turning out to be a really good event. I'm excited about the speakers. Um, it's in November. Uh, and so if you're watching this in 2019, well, you can still come. Uh, just go to jumpstartyourmarketing.com, look at the event page, uh, and yeah. It's, it's, your, it's the Jumpstart Your Business in a Weekend. Jumpstart Your Business in a Weekend. I have a Love and Money Live event, usually in the spring, and a Speaker Success Boot Camp in the summer. Um, but I might be moving that one. We'll see. So yeah. the beauty of being an entrepreneur is you can do whatever the heck you want anytime you want. You can change it. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, your events are always chock full of so much information, so much good stuff. You know, like you have so much to share, just all the missing pieces, helping people just put everything into place that they really need to run a successful business. So, And I have that roadmap, right? I have yeah. some people who actually use that roadmap every day. On my door. I can see it right here in front of me. Oh, is it? Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, good. Well, thanks for sharing today. I'm glad I could introduce you to peeps and you got, you know, let's just continue the conversation is what I always say, right? We got to keep empowering and sharing more about what we all do so that um, we're not the best kept secret anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be the best kept secret, everybody. <laughs> you no. won't get too far that way. <laughs> no, it'll take you a really long time to build this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks. thanks for having me. Thanks, Erin. Uh-huh.